So today we are solving the problem hostel room. It is from the starters 26. So let's see the problem statement. Here the problem statement says that initially we have X number of people inside the room and then we will be given an array of A length and basically each and every uh, element of the array will tell us that how many people entered the room and how many people have left the room at any particular moment. Like for example, uh, if the uh, like this is the first element of the array and if it is positive means uh, greater than or equal to zero if this element is greater than or equal to zero it means that at one at the first minute these many a uh, number of people would have entered the room so they will get added to x for example if a1 is four that means four people entered the room at the first minute so it to x we will add four so now at the first minute x plus four people are there in the room and then if a2 is for example negative if that is less than 0 for example minus 2 that means at the second moment out of x plus 4 people 2 people left the room. So we will subtract 2 from this uh, expression. So that is how we are deciding that how many people are there in the room at a particular moment. Now what we need to find out is that how many maximum number of people can be there in the room at any particular moment. So it does not matter that at which particular minute the maximum number of people were there in the room. We just need to find out that out of all the n minutes, so there are there will the length of the array will be n, right? That means we have n minutes in which we can um, see that how many people were there in the room at any particular minute out of those n minutes. So we need to find out that what is the maximum number of people out of uh, those n minutes. So it can be any minute from uh, 1 to n. But we need to find the maximum number of people. So uh, how can we do that? So in order to understand how you can do that, we will take one example. Like here, I have taken an example of four people. So we, we have like four minutes we will have, not four people. And uh, initially, there were five people in the room. Now what we can simply do is that we will keep on adding uh, to this x or subtracting to this x. And then uh, easily we can find out that when when is it, when at which point of time is it that we are able to find maximum number of people. Right. So how you can do that? So we have, uh, like let us take one uh, variable which can store that what is the maximum number of people that we have at every particular moment. So let's call that variable max v. And we will assign it to, uh, like we will assign this variable with the value of x, right? Because x is the initial number of people in the room. And uh, we want to know that uh, out of these x, like if there are initially 5 people in the room, can there be more than 5 people in the room? That is because we have to find the maximum number of people at any given time. Now what we will do when we come to the, so let me write down first minute, second minute, third minute and fourth minute. Okay, so this part is clear, I hope. Now when we come to the first minute, what will happen? To x, we will add 5 plus 0 because initially x was 5 and now we added the first minute number of people. So here the number of people are 0, so we have added 0 and now x will become equal to 5. Now we can simply check what will be our condition which we will need to check. So every time we do this operation, we will have to check that if x has become greater than max v and if so, if this value is true, then we will reassign the value of max v equal to x. But in this case, you can see that x is equal to max v. So we will move further. Now we will come to the second minute. In the second minute what will happen? X was initially 5. Now we are adding minus 2 to it. Adding minus 2 also means that we are subtracting 2 from it. So 5 minus 2 X will be equal to 3. Now we will check if X is greater than max V. No because max V is 5 but X is 3. So this condition is false. That means max V will not get updated. We will come to the next value. Here uh, X was 3. Now we will add 2 to it. 
3 plus 2 equal to 5. So now x will become 5. But again, this condition will become false, right? Because x is not greater than max v. So again, we will not update. Now we will come to the last uh, fourth minute. So here 5 plus 3 because initially x is 5. I mean, in the previous minute, x is 5. And we add the fourth minute number of people. So 5 plus 3 becomes equal to 8. Now here you can see that x is greater than max v. 8 is greater than 5. So we will update max v and we will make it equal to 8. That is max v equal to x. So all the uh, like all the number of p minutes are finished, right? We have done the calculation. Now at the end, whatever your max v will be is the answer. So this is our answer that the maximum number of people will be 8 at any given time so this is how you can calculate and like in this example particularly the updation happened at the last minute but it will not uh, be so in some other example so you can take any example of your own or even here only i can add uh, one more like i can add one more minute i can take five uh, i can make n equal to five and then add one more value here so for example one so if i add one more value here one then what would have happened? Uh, sorry, let me add minus 1 here. Yes. If I add minus 1, that means one person will leave the room now. So if when we would have updated x, like x is 8, right? So 8 minus 1 will become equal to 7 when we go to the fifth minute. So 8 minus 1 is 7. But then this condition will become false. x will not be greater than max v. So this updation will not happen. So at the end, what will be our answer? Our answer will still remain 8. So that is how we are uh, doing the calculation in this problem. Now I hope that this is all clear. And uh, you have to just code it in the exact same manner that we have discussed the solution here. Now let us see the input, output and constraints. So here in the first line of input, uh, we have the number of test cases. Then for uh, each test case, uh, like we will give an n and x uh, in the same line. And then in the second line, we'll be given the integers, the n integers, which are denoting how many number of people are entering or leaving the room. Then output will be the maximum number of people in the room at any given point of time. So that we calculated and that you know how to calculate now. The constraints are pretty low. So it, it will give you order of n time complexity because you will be running the loop n times, right? In order to calculate the maximum value. So order of n time complexity. So now let us go and see the code. But I urge you to try the code on your own because you have understood how to do it. So it should be easy to do it in the form of code. So let's go. So guys, here we have the code in Python. So the implementation will be exactly the same as we discussed in the solution as you can see here. So first I have taken all the inputs. I think that part you will be able to do on your own. So I'll start after the input part. So after input you can see I have initialized max p variable with x and then we are running a loop and uh, every time we are updating the value of x. So that means because initially there were uh, X people in the room, right? And when people will re leave the room or uh, they will enter the room, then they will basically get added into the room. So instead of taking another variable, like for example, you can you could always take sum as the variable and then initialize sum with X and then keep on adding or deleting people from that sum variable. But instead what we are doing, we are using the X variable directly. So you can also do that. So we are updating the x variable for each and every uh, point of time in the array and for each and every element of the array. And then we are simply checking if x is greater than max v, then we will assign x to max v. That is the new number of people we will assign to this variable max v because our max v is storing the maximum number of people at any point of time in the room. And one thing that you should also understand is why it is important to initialize max v with x because there can be a scenario where uh, all the people are just leaving the room that is in the entire array you have only negative values you have no positive values if that scenario happens then it means that uh, the maximum number of people in the room would be x itself 
because that would always be a positive value right and we are just removing one by one values from x because all the values in your area are negative that means the maximum number of people will be x that is why initially we are assuming that the maximum number of people that can be there in the room are x so we are assigning x to max v and then we are uh, doing the like we are iterating in the area and doing this entire uh, process and then at the end we just need to print max v and uh, we will get our answer so i think this is very uh, like you have understood this and if so then please do like the video and subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching